to this session on protecting your APIs with Apache API 6. Uh, we'll look into what API gateways are and how you can protect your APIs and protect your backend microservices with Apache API 6. I hope you are having a fun time at ApacheCon Asia 2022. And uh, so let's get started. But uh, before we do that, a uh, little bit about me. So I'm Navendu. I'm a developer advocate at api7.ai. I'm a contributor to the Apache API 6 project, and I was also a former CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation maintainer. I'm also a Google Summer of Code and the Linux Foundation Mentorship Program mentor. I'm mostly active on Twitter, and you can reach out to me if you have any queries after this, or if you just want to talk about uh, Cloud Native or stuff related to API gateways. So let's get started. So let's look at why, why there is a need to protect your microservices. So the need for secure APIs. So in modern applications, they look somewhat uh, like this. You have multiple services running multiple business functions on your backend, and you will have multiple client applications, which could be web apps, uh, mobile apps uh, or any sort of things, or it, it could even be just a, just an API where developers can directly access the API. So it, it doesn't matter. So there are multiple clients and you have multiple services and these clients are talking directly to your, uh, to your services. So when it comes to security, what this means is it is creating a uh, um, um, more surface areas for, for attack. So there are definitely a lot of uh, open endpoints that uh, client applications can access, which also means that there are a lot of endpoints uh, where malicious attackers can attack and take over your service, uh, cause data loss, uh, take down your service, basically cause a lot of mayhem for you and your team and your application. So, what is the solution for this uh, this kind of uh, this overexposed services? Uh, a, a straightforward idea might be to consolidate all of them into a single service. And that is exactly what uh, API 6 and other API gateways do. So API 6 is uh, an API gateway. And what this does is it collect, it, it, it routes all the traffic from your client applications to your backend services. So instead of the clients having to talk to each service independently, they will talk to API 6. API 6 uh, will consolidate all the requests that 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 is uh, coming to it. And it will in turn forward them to the appropriate service and it will return back the response to the client applications that asked that asked for it. So in terms of security, what this means is all of your security concerns can be consolidated into a single entity, which is Apache API 6. So now only Apache API 6 has to worry about uh, the security concerns. The only Apache API 6 has to worry about uh, how to handle security, how to, how to be, basically make your service more secure. And this also means that there is uh, less less surface area or less open endpoints where attackers can attack. There is only one, uh, like uh, all your traffic is going through one place. So if that place is secure enough, you can you can ensure that your services that is that is standing behind you are safe. So in, in, in essence, API 6 becomes a backend for your front ends. It follows that design pattern. So, it is, it is essentially a dedicated server that is an API gateway. So let's, let, let's look a bit more into the security aspects of Apache API 6. So uh, there are a lot of uh, security aspects, like some of these might not be that intuitive. Some of these might not have crossed your minds when you think about security. So there is traditionally the, the authentication, the SSL, the traffic control, that sort of thing. But security also means a lot more. Security also means uh, a wide, wide range of things. So things like uh, rate limiting, things like uh, SSL, things like authentication, things like uh, request validation, things like uh, 
uh, IP address filtering all, all, all are important when we talk when you are talking about security. And in this presentation, I hope to give you a high level overview of uh, what these uh, how API 6 uh, uh, does all these things, how API 6 uh, makes your uh, services make your makes your API secure by providing all these features. And hopefully, like uh, my goal is to give you an idea about where API 6 can be used in terms of security so that you can uh, look into it further and look into its use cases further and actually try out API 6. So let's look into some of these aspects and uh, so and uh, to get a deeper understanding of what API 6 is, let's look at this uh, this uh, architecture diagram of apache api6 so you have a data plane which is which is handling all the traffic all the traffic goes through this data plane and you have a control plane which is uh, in a sense controlling the data plane controlling the configurations controlling what you are doing with your api gateways basically how you want your api gateway to behave so API 6, you can have it as multiple instances based on the size or number of requests uh, you are likely to receive. So you can have a load balancer in front of it, have multiple instances of API 6 running behind it. And you can do all sorts of things to ensure that like uh, API 6, there are enough instances of API 6 to handle your traffic needs. So uh, a client will communicate to with API 6 and uh, all requests from this clients are, are passed through API 6 and in turn they are forwarded to an upstream service and which can be anything like uh, in terms of your business need it can be a partner service it can be your own private service or it can be public services it doesn't matter but what API 6 does is it stands between the client and basically the service and in the control plane you have an admin API you have a dashboard which lets you configure all sort of things uh, basically configure API 6 and uh, all of this configuration is stored inside uh, a stored distributed in a distributed fashion in etcd clusters so your configuration also scales with your deployment you don't have to rely on like like uh, unlike most API gateways out there you don't have to rely on uh, traditional databases but you, you can you can use uh, things like etcd which 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 can which can be distributed and which it will scale really well and also you api 6 integrates with uh, other third party applications in this case uh, applications that can be used to collect metrics uh, used for logging basically uh, basically applications for observability and uh, this include apache skywalking prometheus grafana and all sort of uh, more applications and uh, what this does is you can collect uh, collect metrics from your API 6 instance and you can analyze the traffic that is coming into it and all sort of things and you the dashboard the API 6 dashboard also integrates with these applications and you can see see your charts you can see your Grafana charts uh, which is connected to, to your Prometheus uh, instance which is collecting data from the API 6 service for instance all right, let's let's talk about the security aspects and how API 6 solves those uh, problems. So when it comes to security, what we think first is authentication. So authentication is definitely important and uh, is, it, it is definitely a very uh, a, a very great way to ensure that your, your services are secure. So uh, what authentication basically means is, uh, only authenticated users who are uh, allowed to access your service can access your service. So your service cannot be accessed by people who are not authenticated. It cannot be accessed by people who you don't want to access your service. So Apache API 6 uh, does this uh, quite well. And what API 6 does is uh, it integrates with a lot of, uh, it, it provides basic authentication features like uh, authentication with a key, authentication with a JAW token, all sort of things. But it also integrates with uh, third party authentication providers like a key clock, uh, Castor. And it also integrates with things like uh, OpenID Connect, which uh, basically lets you to, uh, lets you set up your uh, OAuth in your uh, authentication system, which makes your service more secure because you don't have to worry about uh, the logic behind 
the authentication you can leave it to other applications like uh, google or facebook or twitter and uh, basically it will hand, handle all the authentication for you and you don't have to worry about authentication so you might be familiar with all of these uh, integrations but apache api 6 integrates with a lot of uh, lot of such uh, uh, third party providers third party applications and lets you set up authentication as well so once a user is authenticated you will get uh, the user info and you can use this user info for a lot of things so basically if a user is not privileged enough you can you can limit their access to certain services and uh, maybe uh, rate limit their users which we'll look into later so you can do all a lot of things with this authentication information moving on to the next uh, aspect of security which is request validation so request validation is quite uh, essential because uh, uh, a malicious attacker can make a malicious request to your application and if these requests are not filtered properly this could this could uh, cause issues in your uh, in your backend this could cause issues in your uh, in your server so basically this can they can use they can use the they can basically send requests uh, and manipulate them to uh, take over your services maybe cause them to crash get some uh, data that they are not supposed to get all sort of things so being the central source of uh, all traffic what api6 can do is api6 has uh, a lot of validation plugins uh, which will basically look into the request and will it will match it with a certain criteria that you configure so you can use regex you can use uh, you can maybe set it as a key value pairs you can do a lot of things but uh, what will it does is it will take a look into the request and make sure that it is it is in the format that is expected by api6 and the upstream services so requests that are not matching this are rejected and only requests that uh, pass this criteria pass this validation check are passed on to the upstream services so this adds uh, a layer of security and this can prevent things like injection attacks and a lot of things so uh, it is always recommended to it is also recommended to set up client side uh, validation as well but like uh, it is all but uh, validating it on the backend side validating validating it through an api gateway like api 6 ensures that there is always that layer of uh, that layer of security on your applications next up is ip address filtering so this this is quite useful when when you are uh, working with your customers and they are based in a certain location let's say north america so if you are if your users are based in north america if your customers are based in north america uh, you would you would expect all traffic to come from north america and an easy way to identify malicious users malicious uh, malicious users trying to attack your service is by filtering them by their ip address so an ip address lets you know where in the world the request is coming from so if you filter ip addresses based on uh, geolocations you can easily uh, filter out uh, uh filter out uh, malicious attacks and this can this can even be this doesn't restrict itself to geolocations so you can basically uh, whitelist uh, uh, a certain set of ip addresses so if your client has a static ip address setup uh, what you can do is uh, uh, what you can do is you can basically uh, whitelist those ip addresses and it will ensure that only those users only those users with those ip address can access your services and api6 uh, supports a blacklist or a whitelist mechanism so you can use either of these to set up uh, ip address filtering another uh, another uh, let's say unconventional or maybe something that people might might not think uh, is uh, think of uh, a way that people attack uh, your services is cross site request forgery so when uh, when you are making a request when you when you when the client application is a web app uh, user user tries user accesses access your service through a web app in their browser so basically your services uh, trust the user's browser 
and uh, the user can perform actions, uh, send requests to the your service uh, based on this mutual trust they have. And uh, what happens uh, in cross-site request forgery is uh, a malicious user may use this privilege that your browser has to send malicious requests to the service. And the service thinks that this is a legit request coming from the user but it is in fact a malicious one and the malicious attacker can uh, basically take over your service, basically uh, do malicious things as they do uh, on your service. So what API 6 has in for this is something called uh, CSRF uh, plugin. So when a user makes user's browser to make a request, API, sends, uh, API 6 sends a cookie with an encrypted token to this browser and subsequent request from the user uses this uh, token, this uh, cookie with this encrypted token. So when an attacker tries to uh, send malicious requests on behalf of the user, they 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 are not able to do that because they don't have the 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 encrypted token, and the requests from the attacker are rejected. So this will prevent the CSR of uh, attacks on your applications. Rate limiting is also an important thing when it comes to security. So denial of service attacks are uh, always on the news. Like they, it, it happens a lot and it has, and DDoS distributed denial of service uh, attacks have taken down a lot of uh, giants, a lot of applications uh, in the past. So protecting yourself against uh, DOS attacks is really important. It is DOS attacks are relatively easy to set up and they are relatively easy to do. And it, it can al almost take down any service uh, until you have set up some protection for it. So rate limiting is, an, is a way to prevent that. So basically rate limiting limits the number of requests a client can make. And with API 6, uh, you can, there it is also fine grained. So you can basically, you have a lot of control in in deciding which users to restrict, which how many requests to restrict, uh, how many number of parallel connection a client can have, all sort of things. So basically, uh, you you configure API six to only allow a set, set certain number of requests, and once once the client once the once the client crosses this threshold, their requests will be delayed or their requests will be will be dropped, they will be blocked. And uh, you can even send send back a message saying that, okay, yeah, your, your request, the number of uh, requests you are allowed to make is exceeded. And you can limit it by the number of requests, number of the number of uh, requests you can make in a particular number of amount of time, number of parallel connections a particular client can have. And you can even use, uh, variables like uh, you can you can filter it you can set up filters using variables like you can filter it by the which user is uh, accessing it you can filter it by all sort of things all sort of other network parameters that comes in with the request so this will so e e even if e even if api 6 can handle the number of requests your upstream services may not be able to handle requests so that is why rate limiting is important so what happens if uh, your service gets too many requests is that like uh, your service can get slow your service can crash or they 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 might be so slow in functioning that it is indistinguishable from a crashed server service so this in turn gives a bad uh, a bad user experience for your actual users and this is uh, this will also enable attackers to to successfully uh, complete their attack and take over or uh, take down your service and https is always good and uh, most modern browsers uh, warn you if you are entering a site without uh, the ssl security so what this what this what API six does for HTTPS uh, encryption encryption is uh, uh, API six if a request comes to API six that is HTTP before passing it to upstream service API six can uh, change the scheme to 
HTTPS. And what this does is it will prevent attackers from snooping on snooping around on your on your traffic and identifying and collecting data from your traffic because with HTTPS the data you are transmitting is uh, is basically encrypted and uh, this will prevent attackers from snooping around so you will you are api6 is adding a level of security another level of security on be, between your traffic and uh, between your client application and your upstream traffic so so that the data you are passing through to the upstream stays secure and last but not the least continuous monitoring is is quite essential it is uh, it is uh, uh, very essential when it comes to security. It, monitoring is not only for to collect metrics, uh, to analyze data and analyze user behavior, all sort of things, but it is also important when it comes to security. And uh, and this is because like uh, uh, if you if you are if you if your application if your team really cares about security, you would you would want to know uh very quickly if any incidents occur if there are any security breaches if there are any other incidents happening and you would want 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 to uh, fix those issues quite fast so the time between the time to identify an issue and the time to resolve the security issue must be really low if you are interested in if you if you really care about security and if you are building business critical applications so what continuous monitoring enables you to do is to have is to be able to monitor API 6 uh, continually and you will be able to access uh, all the data or the log and you can go through these uh, logs or set up some some kind of automation to go through these logs which a lot of uh, third party uh, third party uh, observability tools support and what you can what you do is uh, you will be able to identify issues right away you will be able to identify issues you will be able to pinpoint where these issues are happening and you can quickly update your API 6 configuration if that is what we need, or you can you can you can update your services, you can fix your client code, all sort of things. And the best part is uh, that I might have forgotten to mention early on is API 6 is fully dynamic, so any any configuration change you make, it will it will it will be reflected on API 6 instantly. You don't have to restart your service. There is no uh, there is no actual downtime when it comes to updating configuration and all sort of things. So basically, uh, what continuous monitoring enables you to do is to is to be alert, alert when it comes to security and be be proactive in fixing those security issues. And uh, with that said, uh, uh, I I finish my talk. I hope I've been able to give you uh, 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 an idea about security aspects that uh, API six and other API gateways solve. And I hope this will encourage you to look into API six and uh, the security aspects of API six and how it can help you protect your microservices, protect your APIs uh, uh, for a for a fast moving for a for a for a for a world that is fast fast moving to cloud native architectures. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I will be happy to answer them. And uh, you can also reach out to us on the API 6 Slack and the API 6 mailing list. We have a lot of uh, uh, folks who are who are deployed, who are deployed API 6 into production. You have a lot of people working on building API 6. You have a lot of uh, community members uh, in, these, in these channels. You can ask questions. Uh, you can let us know about uh, how we are using API 6 and all sorts of things. And uh, now with that, uh, I say goodbye and uh, and I'll hope to see you uh, see you on the API 6 uh, communities. All right, bye.